and after that I think everything smells dog shit. Fuck. I had dog shit at my nose. I have a clean nose. It smells much better now. <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> that was... <laughs> that was so... Not nice. <laughs> but fun. <laughs> so today it's the second day of the tour. It was lower than 20 below zero tonight. The sun is up, promising clouds and last night was in the cabin and now we're heading down to the forest area east of Akse and then into Akse. Tonight we're going to camp somewhere. We don't know where exactly yet. We will see. We tried to go in to the Ropa Valley, but it was so deep snow. Now it's time to camp here. We have water down on the lake, and the view is okay. So, time for unharnessing the dogs and put up the camp. So the first thing we do is to put out the chain, undressing the dog and take care of them. And then when you have a harness with some eyes, I try to take it away. When we have cabins you can always bring stuff inside for drying but now in the tent you can't really dry it. So I try to get rid of a little bit of the ice. And this week I have a troll with me. And the troll is not really super happy to be with me before. But during the last week, he actually started wagging his tail and coming close to me, so he's more and more happy.
Men de klarar sig. Vet du vad det kan bero på? Nej. Det är lite konstigt. Det är ju mer på kvaliteten på tuberna. Ja. Men det är samma gasoltubus husvarna. De fryser ju liksom inte. Nej. Men de är också... De är Nej, inte riktigt. That was the start. I really don't like the start when the dogs are screaming. I really want them to be kind of silent. Because if something happens, they are all over the place. If they calm when you start, if something happens, you just stop and solve it. This is the gate to Sarek. You can see Skerfe in the fog, not. You can see Chakale in the fog, not. 
And you can see not much in the middle of the valley, not. Normally it's a very beautiful view here, but today it's not. Normally you can see into the valley over there, but today not. <laughs> But we had the view yesterday that was quite beautiful. It's snowing. And on open space it's a little bit windy so now we're digging a hole and make fire and having lunch. Det här då på det. Då det men jag kan ta den It's really grey today, black and white and grey. I think we got 10 centimeters snow now, very very fluffy snow. If we get some wind on top of this, all this snow will start moving around. Luckily this snow will probably move quite quickly. And but now you just need 10 meters per second and then the visibility will be kind of bad. But the weather forecast when I saw it last time was quite good. So we arrived to Akts cabin and this is the third night on this tour and everybody know what to do, they know how to undress the dog, they know how to hook up the team so I just had to take care of my team and they're taking well care of the dog as usually. Last week, Emma was not an easy going dog. Last week, Emma was kind of annoying in the team behind me. So this week, she ends up in Matti's team. But and now, she behaved like an angel. Emma!
It's a line into the shop now because because of COVID they can only go in one and one. And they had to keep two meter distance. That's two meter. <laughs> and then they're selling beer inside there. Now I'm in Akse and it's snowing a lot. Today we have got 20 30 centimeter fresh snow. And yeah. Probably have to change plants again. Now we have left Akse and we got some really fluffy fresh snow. Luckily, here in the beginning, Anne Sophie was her with her snowmobile yesterday evening. My team is the slowest today and my team had to break the trail. So there is some workout. Now I had a little bit of downhill. It seems like it's less snow here than around Akte. We will soon have lunch. Inte på det ja. märket i alla fall. Ja. Men, men, men Jack Wolfskin var det ju så att de... Ja, vi ser. Åh, oh, vad gott det ser ut. Fantastiskt billigt. Det där var värsta Youtube-grejen alltså. <laughs> Och hur smakar det då? <laughs> mm. Det var för varmt. <laughs> Det är för varmt. Ja, det var ingen stil på den fjällningen där. Nej, det var väldigt bra. Det var väldigt skönt att bara få som en skid där för en bra kall för mm. det är lurigt med det. Ja, ja. Now we just started out. After a lunch break, and we are still in the needle forest. Here we have very big, nice spruces, and slowly we're climbing up towards the birch forest. And tonight we're going to camp. The dog makes fantastic work to stay on the trail. I have Nisse and Dof in the front. I don't know if the dogs follow the Red Cross or what they're actually doing. I know Dof see the cross. Now we need a spot with water and then we we'll probably camp there. We can probably make a nice tour tomorrow uh, up along Situ Yar and in, then back to Situ Yar cabin. That's the goal.
Alexander lost his snowshoe and <laughs> he says it's one and a half meter down here. Andrea, <laughs> where is it? It is not there. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, it, it's behind the sled, Alexander. <laughs> I know a German word. That's Schadefreude. <laughs> I, I feel pure Schadefreude now. Real from inside of my heart. <laughs> Now we need to find a good spot for the water and looks like it's a small creek here. It is a small creek. You can see the snow, how it goes down. There is water down there. Now it's just a problem how to reach the water without getting wet. Ah, I can use one of the guests because a wet guide is not nice. It's much better with a wet guest. There was no ice. Oh, it's going deep. Det är vatten. Vatten? Eller? Ja. Slash. Ja, det är vatten. Men hur ja. jävla djupt är det? Finally, we find water. If you have water, you save, save several hours of snow melting work. So back to the camp and start the stoves. Right now we're following a trail that crossing Sitojaure 
and <laughs> I don't really know if it's on the north south side of the lake or aiming to the south side of the lake or but it's a good trail and I can see that they have been here with not super powerful snow machines uh, they are actually driving with sleds maybe not super light sleds and then the ice is good today when you have this sports machine you can't trust the snowmobile trail because they actually run over open water but here this trail looks good good enough for a dog team <laughs> it's so great oh normally it's so beautiful views in here it's, you see so nice mountains and today it's really <laughs> great Right now I'm on my way out to the sled because we have a kind of northern light and I want to make a time lapse of that. It's a little bit fog, it goes, and northern light, and some kind of clear sky. So it's. Oh. <laughs> it's beautiful.
Troll! Troll! Fine! Ja. You smelling shit again! Troll, troll! Today we got a total different kind of day. No wind, in the morning no clouds, under 20 below zero. And it's really beautiful up here with all the frost on the trees since the fog yesterday. So that was more or less end of this tour. I want to say thank you to Alexander Andreas who follow on this tour. Uh, they was on the tour 12 years ago. I also want to say thank you to Yuke who follow on the tour also 12 years ago and come back. And then thank you to Billy who was on the tour last year and this year two weeks in a row. Fantastic. I hope you enjoy the tour and for all of you who are watching this video Thank you, please subscribe, stay tuned, there will be more videos, ciao!